Good day, Great Livings. Welcome to this last lesson in week three. In the last lesson, you learned how, theoretically, to resolve the force of gravity into the horizontal and vertical components of an object on an inclined plane. And in this example, in this lesson, all I want to do is go through a proper worked example so you can see how we would do it with real numbers. So let's get started. It says a crate with a mass of 114 kgs rests on a ramp with an incline, angle of incline of 15 degrees. Then it says calculate the force the crate experiences down the ramp as well as the force the crate exerts on the surface of the ramp. Right, so now let's draw what they've asked, told us that there is. So we've got a ramp which is at an angle of 15 degrees. That's 15 degrees there. And we have our crate, which is sitting on the ramp. Okay, and we know the mass of this is 114 kgs. I'm not gonna fill that in right now. We know the mass is 114 kgs. Now, there only are two actual forces acting on this. There is, and I'm going to draw them in black. There is the force of gravity which is straight on, okay, the force of gravity, and then we also know that there is the normal force, which is always perpendicular to the slope, so it's perpendicular to the slope, and that is F normal. But now remember what we learned, we learned that this force of gravity does two things. The first thing it does is that it pulls it down onto the surface of the Earth, okay, so that there is the component of the force of gravity and it pulls it down onto the surface of the earth, okay? And that we call Fg perpendicular because it's the component of gravity that's perpendicular to the surface and it is always equal to the normal. It has to be equal to the normal because if it was not, then it would either, this block would be elevating or it would be sinking into the ground. So those two are balanced out. And then there is the force of gravity, that component of which pulls it down the slope, pulls it down the slope. So this is Fg parallel. Right, so they've asked us to calculate the crate, the force the crate experiences down the ramp. So in other words, this bit here, this force down the ramp is the force of gravity parallel. So that's what we want. Now, because this is perpendicular and that is parallel, we know that that there has to be 90 degrees. And in the last lesson, Sam, I think it was, taught you how you could realize that this angle here is the same as this angle here. So that angle there is 15 degrees. Right. That there, that angle there is 15 degrees. Now you can either work it out again, always, or you can realize that it's 15 degrees or just learn it. Okay. But just to go through it with you again, I'm just going to change to a very light color so I can explain it to you. This here is 90 degrees because we've drawn it like that. The force of gravity is always drawn as 90 degrees to the cut through. If that's 15 degrees, then this angle here has to be 90 minus 15. So this has got to be, let's go through it, 90 minus 15, which is going to be a 5. It's going to be 75 degrees. So this angle here is 75 degrees, right? But that there is alternate to that angle, so that's also 75 degrees. Since that is 90, that ends up being 15 degrees. Okay, so now you can see, and he did it a different way, it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you're using basic, correct geometry, you can work it out. Or you can just learn the angle of inclination is always this acute angle between the perpendicular component of the force of gravity and the actual force of gravity. Right, so back to the force of gravity parallel. We're going to be looking at this component here, this green one down here. Okay, we already have the force of gravity. So the force of gravity we know is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity, which in this case is going to be 115, because that's the mass, times by 9.8. So now we have to get out our calculator and we move it across so we can see what we do. And we go 115 times 9.8 
and it gives us 1127 newtons. So it gives us 1127 newtons. Okay, so that is the that is the force of gravity straight down into the earth. But now if we look at that, do you see that that is the hypotenuse? This is the angle we want. So therefore the green one, which is the force of gravity parallel, is going to be the opposite side. This is the opposite. This is the, let me write it in black. This is the hypotenuse. Okay. So now, what do we have? We've got the hypotenuse and opposite. So let's think about our trig ratios. We've got Sokotoa. So Sokotoa, we've got the hypotenuse, we've got the angle, and we want the opposite side. So therefore, therefore, if we look at this, I'm changing to green again, so you know which one we're doing. We can say sine of 15 degrees is equal to the opposite which is Fg parallel over the hypotenuse which is Fg. So therefore we can say that sine of 15 degrees is going to be Fg parallel over 1127. Then we can rearrange and we can say 1127 sine of 15 degrees equals Fg parallel and we can get out our calculator and move it over and we can go 1127 times sine of 15 degrees and that gives you 291.689 which gets rounded up to 291.69 so therefore Fg parallel is 291.69 newtons right now they've asked us to calculate the force the crate exerts on the surface of the ramp. So that there is the perpendicular component, okay? And that is the adjacent side. So again, okay, you could use trig. You could say, well, we've got the hypotenuse, we've got the opposite, so we can use that. But what happens if you've made a silly mistake with it? So rather always go back to the information you know that you have because you've been given it, okay? We know the angle is sine 15. We know that the mass is 115 and you just now times by 9.8 and you get that. So we've got the hypotenuse. So we want the adjacent. We want that. We have the angle and we have the hypotenuse. So this time we're going to use the cosine or the cos. So we're going to say cos of 15 degrees equals Fg perpendicular over Fg, right? Therefore, we've got cos of 15 degrees is equal to Fg perpendicular over 1127. And now I'm going to write over here because I've run out of space. I'm taking this 1127 over to the other side. So I get 1127 cos of 15 degrees is equal to Fg perpendicular. And now we get out a calculator. And we move it over and we go 1127 cos of 15 and we get that it's 1088.598. Okay, so the 8 rounds the 9 up which rounds this up to a 6. So it's actually 1088.6 newtons. 1088.6 newtons equals the perpendicular component of the crate. And there you go. Now you can see what this looks like with actual numbers. Please go practice this grade 11. Make sure you can do it because it's going to be very important, not only just in this section, but in future sections, in your momentum, work energy power, all these sections, you need to be able to do that. So please go practice, practice, practice. Have a great day.